Welcome back to the Bad Blue Podcast, everybody. We've got Kyle Cassidy here today. He is a BFBA fighter. He come onto the scene with a bang, should I say? He and a very impressive victory after a long time out. But first, before we get into that, like introduce a couple of sponsors, looking sharp barbers, but the best by far, Tannen and Barbers in the local area. So if you're a local listener, head over at Looking Sharp Barbers. Also, Scott West Shellfish. Without you, couldn't be doing that. Kyle there from your way, I believe. So honestly, good people up there, my brother. So yeah, we'd like to thank them as well. Also, Mr. Bloom's Black Seed Oil Mechanics. Without you, we wouldn't have been able to get a studio. So we're so appreciative of that. Right, Kyle, how are you, my man? Good, my man. How are you? I'm good, man. But that honestly, this is good. obviously long awaited. We've been, we've said this, we've, we've said this day, it hasn't happened. Now it's eventually happened. Thank God we're getting the That's one of these things, man. It is. Shit it's happens. Just, Shit happens, yeah. Exactly. So, Kyle, obviously, you come onto the scene with a bang, but I want to take you back. Where did it all start for you? Like, at what age? I mean, well, let's take it even <laughs> back a little further. Is Does fighting run in your family? Uh, I, it does, mate. My granddad was in the... He was a boxing champion, in fact, in the Navy. I'm sure it was. Mm. Don't even ask what his name is, mate, because fuck, I don't even know. But my dad said... So, yeah, he was in the Navy championship, the boxing champion, sorry. Um, and I think that said my dad was an angry bastard back in his day as well so I must be just genetically fucking like that uh, but other than that that's all I think I know yeah. mm-hmm. so when did you really start getting combat sports because you've you've not just done the one sp- like combat sport you've you've done nah. multiple haven't you yeah I've done quite a few mate so what happened was I've always fought yeah, so I've always been fighting I mean I got chucked out of primary school for fighting primary two I would chuck it completely primary free from school for fighting and some teacher and stuff like that. So I've always been fighting and I go to an art school, I was fighting and then it's just what has happened as you get older, you still fight for where you're from. Like if your boys, ain't you? So always fighting, that's always been what I've done. Mm-hmm. If it's school or outside school, as you get older, it's going to be. It happens high in every school. It happens in every it, school. Aye. My, mate, my first my first visit to high school, I lasted an hour and a half. Fighting by the first break, that was gonna be a record. Just <laughs> <laughs> probably, mate. I probably, mate. I so I've always thought yeah, it's just what it's, it's one of the things where you're from, eh? Mm-hmm. That's what you do. You get in trouble, your your boys. Uh-huh. So it's, I've always thought, mate, through high school and outside high school, you're older, you start going to pubs, mm-hmm. then the rest of it. But even back in the day, when you're doing the young team days, fighting for different areas. There's, there's four, four, five, so like seven different areas, I think it is, eh? Quite big, big places. Mm-hmm. And it's young teams, not I mean? It's gangs. So that's yep. the day you're fighting for gangs. And that's how you get your kick at, during the week. Mm-hmm. Drinking, fighting at a young age. And then as you get older, mate, you start going to pubs. You start fighting with more people there that you've been fighting before with, or you'll fight with bouncers, or whatever happens, yeah? It built so, up so rivalry. Things. Ah, it's just one of the things you get of course it is. And the fill of drinking, fill of the party, and it's it's everything, eh? So that's what happens. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I was actually two mates, I said, come and train at Fighter Sive. Mm-hmm. I was 16 year old when I walked into that gym with Ash Mohammed at Fighter Sive gym. And uh, I just trained there. Just It was more discipline for me, mate. I never had discipline. Mm-hmm. Like, I was, gro- I, ha- I was. Can I just? I'm gro- gonna hit it, hit it raw here. How was? Aye. How was like you? You bringing up? How? How? How were you? How? How was that? Uh, my mom's always been a single parent. Like my dad was never around. So my mom, they split up when I was still in my mom's inside there. So they split up. Mm-hmm. That was never around. And then my mom's always been a single parent. Uh, I had a bad, bad experience with men, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, and then there was another man like my little sister's dad he was with her for, for quite a long year, like probably what, about 15 years probably I don't know maybe less than that roughly so I pretty much took him as a father figure yeah and then it's just like that then they split up in that I've seen my mom get hit before and that yeah. so it's just it's just, just it's no it's just a 
I see it as a normal upbringing as some of my mates see it as well. It's, it's happened to them as well. So there's nothing abnormal that I've really mm. known growing up. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's how it's worked like that way. Yeah. I've got some, well, not to, not to the extent of the violence, but I've got the experience of that. I have that my I come from well, obviously yeah. I didn't have a dad growing up, um, and mm. then my mum met a, a a man who was in the forces. He became his stepdad, and then they yeah. grew up. I lack lack discipline during the ages of fifteen. Like went through a bit of a bad period, so it does happen. To everybody, do you yeah. know what I mean? And it is a hard time. How did you feel you had to cope mentally? Did you think? You, uh, did you have to? Did you personally think you had to grow up too fast? No, I, I don't think so, mate. To be honest, I think it's just more that just you got to deal with it. Eh? I'm one mm. of the people that you just got to fucking deal with, it, take it as as day by day, and what mm. happens happens. It's just going to be like that. It's never going to be the greatest least, but like, you've got mates that are spoilt bastards. You've got mates that are worse off than you, but it's still you just got to deal with it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it made me. I think it made me more angrier as well that. Every time we went out, my mum would always say to me and my boss, Sean, like, no fighting tonight. And her saying that was like, a bad curse, you know what I mean? Because every time we go out and we were fighting, mm-hmm. when she doesn't say it, it's the best night ever. Yeah. So it, just, it depends on how, how you see it that way for discipline and everything else. So, yeah, it's, and that's why I started training as well at a young age, well, at 16 when I walked into the gym as well, to try and get that discipline. Yes. So I, you've always, I've always been, I always fight in the shire. So it's no as if it's, so it's obvi- no something new. So obviously, were you, were you growing up fighting? Obviously, mm. when did you feel like you got the bug? Because were you already having a taste for exchanging blows? Uh, how did you, how did you psychologically think about it? As I can actually make a living out of this, and I can do damage like legally. Uh, if if that, you were that wild, that's it. I mean, I've got charges, you know what I mean? I've got charges for fighting and assaults and all that stuff, eh? So mm. the way I seen it was fucking yes, I can go in here, I can fucking hurt someday, I can fight and not get in trouble at all with the police. Mm-hmm. There's no, I'm not going to step up for a judge or that or get fucking anything else, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm not going to get community service or anything like that sort of thing. I'm not going to do anything. And I'm getting paid mm-hmm. for it as well, you know what I mean? You're just going there, but it's then you. I didn't fight for like eight months I started training, but it's still respect. Yeah. You're both in there, you know what I mean? So it's no as if it's you fighting in the streets with somebody, mm-hmm. you fighting in the ring with somebody. It's different yeah. sort. You want to kill the guy outside, even though you want to kill the guy inside the ring, but it's still mm-hmm. different. you got to jail outside, yeah. inside, you're fucking, you're, you're fine. It's club so against fought, club, basic. I, I, I fought better that way. I thought, fucking hell, I can, I can smack some cunt and no, no get no get told for it. <laughs> <laughs> it was a no-brainer, you know what I mean? So when did the penny drop that you could actually really make some money out of this? When, like, what did you did you learn? Were you a fast learner? Aye, I, I'm good with my hands. You know what I mean? I'm always good with power. I'm good with my hands in that day. So whatever my coach was saying, I would always learn and learn and learn as you go on. Um, but I've, I've never done it for the whole living to make money. Eh? That, that wasn't even that fight there on this show. The I wasn't bored with that, but we'll go into that later on. Mm-hmm. Um, it was just in there. I'm, I'm angry, bastard. You know what I mean, so when I'm sitting in these four walls, I'm at no day that I'm like, fuck hell, what do I do? Mm-hmm. Um, so it was never day with living. The, the, the fighting's not going to pay, pay things, doesn't it? Doesn't it pay the bills? Yeah, it's just to get the aggression out there. So that's what type of sparring were you? How were you exchanging with men? Were you, were you in were your own age class? How no, like, we thought we thought, we thought we adults, it's adults class, like our classes varied. We had police officers training, that was the best time of smart. You could just smack them and hit them hard. <laughs> <laughs> we had kick, mate, on Friday nights, kick the copper, <laughs> copper lines up, tie boxing, kick the copper with leg pads. You can't even no, you can't even beat that. Back then, <laughs> when we were training, training for side, it was our sparring sessions, was a fight. A war. We never had it, wasn't it? It wasn't this, oh, it's one of that stuff. Knee head guards, mm-hmm. just. Glove up, mate. Get hit with elbows, elbow pads on. That was a war, I when we fought with the big ones. And that's better, that, because you're getting the experience you're training with the big guys. And I was still a young age. You know what I mean? Yeah. These guys have been fought and training for a while, but I still have my own. I still have my own main strength against them. What what combat been. sport did you first uh, compete in? What, what, what did you first uh, gravitate to? Uh, I'd done MMA mm-hmm. and Thai boxing. So... 
I've done both MMA and Thai boxing. That's what I've both done. I've never done boxing. Eh? For me, I thought box was fucking... We did Thai boxing. That's fucking... Thai boxing is just deadly. It's shite. It's fucking uh, uh, horrible. Yeah. I've, it's I've no learned, fun I've... when you're having a fight. <laughs> I mean, you're getting kicked and all that stuff about the place. It's horrible. You know what I mean, you're like, taking... Boxing, you're just smacking me a hand. So it's all right. Uh, but... I've been kicked before off the car who was a Thai fighter. And... <laughs> you know it, mate. You know it definitely kicked boxing uh, Thai boxers. Eh? Yeah. Whew. Never again. Never a fucking game. Aye, so... <laughs> yeah, it's no, it's no nice, mate. It's horrible. Uh, it's, it's fucking nasty. And do you know what the worst thing about it was? He hardly touched us. He just it's give a us bone. a little. Yeah, a bone, bone, to bone. Mate. That's what it takes, eh? Yeah. I had a dead leg, so... dead leg for two days. <laughs> Did? Crying and all that, walking up. Uh, that was fucking like the bastard. <laughs> <laughs> no coming back again. That's uh, uh, for my mom. <laughs> Buzz bust. So when what like so you were actually holding your own, like I... with so with that, were you dominating people your same age as you? I, I it was different match that way. Mm-hmm. People because like, they're still younger, they, they never had the fight mentality, you know what I mean? They're in there. What, physic- but... what physicality advantage did you have when you were a youth? Mate, I was tiny, mm-hmm. I wasn't a big boy, you know what I mean? I've just I went away and all that stuff. And I, after I stopped, fighting, I hit the gym and that. I was tiny, mate, man. I, I could send you a picture that I weighed in it. I looked fucking, I looked like I was dying. Mm-hmm. I swear, somebody could have sent me two pounds a month, might have feed me. Uh, it was horrible, like, so it wasn't nice. I wasn't, I wasn't a big physical guy that I am now. Mm-hmm. I mean, I used to kill myself for fights, and it's just stupid because you just you don't know the nutrition advice that you're taking. You just fuck, fuck, I'll eat this, this, and this, and that's it. I'll kill myself and so on. Uh, damage I was never the, the biggest guy. I, I mean, I, I, I was always the smallest guy fighting at my weight class, and the guys at my weight class were monsters, really. I've been beating them, and it's all the best guys that I've fought in Scotland and that, that beat me. But, I never really took it serious that because I was still drinking. Right. I was still at this party and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Just being fucking idiot. it. So, I, so the mind wasn't connected with the actual spirit of fighting with it? Nah, mate, it wasn't like that, mate. You know I mean, I was happy to go out on a Friday night, Saturday night, day what you're doing, in the mm-hmm. pubs and all that stuff, and then thought, fucking, I'm fighting next week. Yeah. Fucking, you know what I mean? There's no bother. If I win, I win, I lose, I lose. I did train hard. That's it. I did train hard, mm-hmm. but I never trained like a fighter that I should have been. What was your record in, in MMA? Uh, I was, was it five? Was it five and zero in semi pro? And I was was it, and I was four. I got beaten four times to and I won one in a uh, pro. But the guys I fought at pro MMA were I uh, fought um, Sean Wright, Asian contender, Thailand. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kieran Malone, he's a wrestler, top end. He fights, and I'm sure he fights a great bit in team as well. Um, well so Adam Stevenson, he's the coach of Chris Duncan. I don't know if you know him, he fights in uh, Bellator. Uh, um, not aware of him, no. Uh, I was, I'm trying, David Gobraith, there's there's them, eh? So I've always fought the best people, I've always been underdog, but I thought Fuck, it's a fight, let's go and do uh, it. Let's try it, let's go get it. So my pro record wasn't the best, but I still went in there and fought, know what I mean. Most it's definitely one of the things, having the balls that fucking do it, do you know what I mean? That's it, that's, that's it, it's exactly it. I mean, it's no, it's a loss, mate. It's no as if I'm coming out of something and saying, fuck, I'm going to be eating it. And I've been, I've lost, you, you lose. It's one of the things. Mm-hmm. But now, now my training, if I train now, then I'll train back then. I wouldn't have been getting beat like I should have been, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because I'm how, training constantly. How was the kid, the Thai boxing? Thai boxing, what was that? Uh, what was that? I can't even know, mate. What was that? Three, is it three and one? Three, three and one. Three and one, I'm sure it was. Mm-hmm. I've had amateur fights as well, but you don't really class the amateur fights. Is it? I'm trying to think, mate. It's been, that, it's been actually that long ago that I've had to actually think about who I've actually fought that to have it like that. Yeah. Um, oh. So then you end up fucking forgetting people. But also, I fought him before. Mm-hmm. So well. why why did you go off the sea? What had happened was, me I, I was training. I was actually went travel, traveling Australia, right? So I went I went to Australia and traveled, and I was training with John Wayne Parr in, in, in Australia and wow. Gold Coast. Right. And I messed him back and forth and all that stuff. And I said, "Look, I fought him." Just typical messages that yeah, yeah, you send to try and come down and that. So I trained there, and uh, 
a second round with the beginners, and it was like, you're not a beginner, go on with the big guys in the cage. So I was like, yeah, that's fine. And I, and I strained it a few times, but he was doing that cage Muay Thai. Right. And he was wanting me, he was asking me if it was what, he's like looking forward to fighting on it. And I was like, I can't, mate, I can't commit myself to working and then training because I was like, no. So my ex partner filmed training and we came home and I'd went training once my wee boy was born and I nearly dropped him in the cot. And from there I was at no, gloves are up, that's it. I can't even, if I'm going to train, I hurt my hands, I've dropped in the court, I feel bad. So I just stopped the training there, stopped it yeah. completely. I didn't even go into the gym, I didn't put the gloves back on because I didn't want that being on my head that fucking hell, I've dropped my son yeah, in the yeah. court, this is my fault, you know what I mean, at new, new, new age. Um, so I just hit the gym and that's what eight, I mean, How bad have the no, hands no been? My hands are fucked. How, like how <laughs> my bad? Hands, my hands, I've got, I've got, I had to go and get a, I had hairline fracture after my last fight, fight before that when the BFBA. Yeah. I've got hairline fractures and all that stuff in my hands and all that stuff. Like, my hands are fucking ruined. Like, I went into that fight with Ash Gibson, hands were fucked. Like, but I still went in there and fucking smacked them. Like, I don't yeah. care. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Uh, after the fight, my hands are fucked. But with me, I'm, like, I'm going in, it's more fucking to get the anger at me. Like, I don't care about my hands. I'll deal with my hands. Yeah, yeah. I had my hands blew up, my right hands blew up, my fucking knuckle was missing and everything after that fight. It's just bare knuckle, you know I mean? That's what happens. Mm-hmm. But I've still been, still been training. I've been working more on the jab, working my left hooks and all that stuff, so working my power movement. But my right hands, I'm still throwing my right hands, still using yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Even though they're fucked and sore and all that stuff, but I'll just do it. That, because see, obviously the common, the, the, the non, the non-casual fan, they'll not, under, they'll not be able to understand that choice. Like, if his hands is buggered, why go to bare knuckle? Like, do you know what I mean? But Mate, you've... They were like, why are they in this kill? Your hands are fucked. Your hands are fucked. And I was like, I need to fucking... I need to go and do it. I'm no... Yeah. I, I like this. This is mine. This is, uh-huh. this is for me, this. It's, you were, you feel I like know. you were born to do this. Uh, mate, I was back working on my carpet. So I was back working using my knife smart stuff as well. So it's not as if... Even with a sore. Uh-huh. I was still using them. Yeah. I just got to fight through it. Just deal with it. You get used to it. Right? You used to the pain. It was an so, impressive performance, yeah. mind. How long did you train that, for that fight? I start. I, I was training if I... I was training, I wasn't training. I was still mm-hmm. in the mix of what a day weights and then still training, but still like keep my weight down yeah. for a fight. I think I'd done about, about a seven-week... I think it was a seven or six-week camp I'd done there. Yeah, I'd done a mini cup first to see where we fight it to the photo shoot for the gym. I train it. Then I was like, hey, I can go do it that way there. So I was like, even though I was training the last two or three weeks it's when I amped it up yeah. uh, for that fight there I didn't train like I was training now eh? mm-hmm. I wasn't fully in that so I was like fuck I'm going in there for a fight I can make the weight easy so I'm no yeah. bored the fighting part the, the fighting part for me is the hardest part it's more me oh. getting the cardio and getting to, get me going to train and see me getting out the door and go training mm-hmm. that's the hardest part for me right yeah. the motivation to get up get aye there, that was it done. aye because I was just coming back you know what I mean back into the gym and there were new guys and that, so it's hard to try and get what... I was a new boy walking to the gym again with the fighters, even though they never knew who I was, but I've been there before them. Mm-hmm. There's nothing more but, terrifying. I've experienced it myself, me and my friend. We chose to go to box, like, obviously boxing. We've been... We had both boxed when we were, were young age, but I right. took it upon myself to, like, box for, like, a local area. I still remember that day. It's a nerve-wracking time when you walk in that gym for the first time. Well, that's it, mate, as well. Also, I was training in uh, Edinburgh, Leaf Victoria Boxing. Mm-hmm. My mate, he's got a... He, he takes a class in there. So some of the boys are actually fighting at good amateur level and also fought for the Great Britain team, boxing or Scotland, yeah. I think it is. Mm-hmm. So I went in there, sparred them as well. Um, they're all using headguards. I never had a headguard boxer in there. My, my mate told me, was like, where's a headguard? I don't use one. I've never had one in my life. Yeah. Uh, it was like, well, that's fine, they hit you you hit them back, it's fine, you've got to deal with it. I, stay bo- I was holding my own against the boxers, eh? Mm-hmm. Coming through that background, the tie boxers and me, but a different style, so it's harder for them to hit me and pick me off. And that's the big, there's big boys in there, eh? So, mm-hmm. I wasn't, uh, how you feel? Being, how you, you feel in the switch? Because obviously, like the footwork, everything, placement, I mean, placement. I- I've been working placement shots and movement with Cammy and all that stuff. He was the boy that was done my corner, the big yeah, boy. Right. He's only 20, 21 year old. So he looks like fucking mm. a 30 year old. <laughs> uh, he watches, he does, but he's a genetically freakish, like, um, just young. I mean, just work stuff, eh? But 
we're not working boxing. I'm still not going down there being a boxer. Eh? I'm not going, I'm going down as a fight. A fight. That's it. I'll, mm-hmm. That's it. I'm not coming down there standing at a box. I'll come down, if anything, I'll come down and stand at a Muay Thai fighter and see if you can try and hit me mm-hmm. that way. Um, so I've no had to work. I'm not changing to the boxing stance that because my body will just no do that. Eh? I so, can't switch that way. Eh? So it's more angle, keeping your head off centre line. <laughs> I Keeping, then keeping. what happens is it'll just go in the heat like, ah fuck it let's get torn into this yeah. let's, uh, let's just bite down the gum shield and let's fucking throw fists and let's see what's going to happen who uh-huh. goes first let's uh-huh. move on I was going to say because you'll not be used to you'll not be used to rolling obviously because you're going to be a fucking horrendous <laughs> career ending day <laughs> you know what I mean they were, so I was talking to Cammy in fact tonight about this but I said what was the highlight of your fight and I was like me and the thing was I dropped Ash on the second time when I've rolled under and hit uh-huh. him twice. I don't fucking know. <laughs> mate, I've watched this on a table. Like, what the fuck happened? What happened there? <laughs> how, the, how the fuck are you doing that, man? <laughs> but I've just seen it. I think you just get a moment in that was uh-huh. I don't roll punch you for some reason. Uh-huh. I fucking just seen did. it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I just did I like fuck. Matrix. <laughs> I was like, yeah, man. I'm like, I have watched came back home and all that stuff. Watched it. I was like, what the fuck is happening here, man? Uh-huh. I'm still a bit shocked at how how I managed to even see that to roll and hit him. Mm-hmm. But it's like fuck it. you just get caught up in the moment. But if you see it in the blind side, it, you just you just move. So clearly, obviously, learning from getting to know you, speaking to you. Uh, you're clearly I, totally not bothered about the opponent change. Um, I, mean, I don't give. A, I do not give a fuck, mate. That, that's just yeah. say that to him. I say that to Ash before because matched up with a boy from Norway or something. I don't know. He did pull out. Mm-hmm. Um, that's one of these things. That pull out's happened all the time. And he's like, I give you Ash, and uh, his experienced fighters had all these fights and that. And he's, I seen him. I was like, well, he's meant to fight Jimmy Corey, mm-hmm. so it must be kind of decent. I don't know. I don't know if all the if all the whole route. Yet. And I had a few drinks and I was raging that my fucking fighters been pulled out. I said, my, my missus, Sam, and my stepdad, my fighters been pulled out. I've got this guy here. Uh, don't be so stupid. Why yeah. do I want to fight somebody that fights all the time? Because I've no thought, I'm ring rust, no thought for eight years. So, mm-hmm. which is true for what they're saying, because I've had a few days, like, fuck it, game them. They're all getting it. No. So, I like, that's it. And then as it goes on and all that stuff, like, there's nothing you can say to me that if you tell me no, don't do that, I'm, I'm going to do it. it. Mm-hmm. Aye. Uh, so I took the fight with Ash and that, and, and they fought for so long, but he has been an active fighter and fights all the time. So he's been a book, you know what I mean? He does. He has. And all I kept hearing is, all I kept hearing when I went in there, oh, fighting Ash Gibson, oh, watch it for over 100. All I heard all the time, watch it mm-hmm. for over 100. Watch which I wasn't bored about it. It wasn't bored of phase me, but they kept on saying this, this, and this, and this. So, um, so I was, I was um, meant to fight him. I fought Ash, sorry. And it, I didn't look like I'd been out of the ring for, uh, didn't? for so long. No, I didn't. didn't. I was like, I just, you looked yeah, at so. home? Aye, that's it, mate. That, that's it, mate. I was, I was getting a point in my work when I was working. I mean, the customers have been assholes, do I mean? Like, fuck, I'm going to bat a customer. Or bounce something to work because mm-hmm. they're just getting wound up. You know what I mean, that's why when I hit when I started uh, training, I got maxed up for this. I thought, fuck it, I'll start fighting again. Trade the aggression. Um, and then that's what I seen. I went there and I thought, fuck this, this is my this is just bite down the gum shield and let's throw down. And then Ash, Ash did have caught me a couple of times, but I never I never felt what anything that happened. You know what I mean, but for him being experienced fighting, I put him down three times within so long. You know what I mean. Yeah, it was quite yeah. impressive, mate. I watched the back from I watched back home. It was, it was really, really impressive. Everyone said that impressive run, impressive run, eh? And I think the, I think Andrew and um, Stephen was I think they were impressed with it as well. How how I performed as well. So is this is this what makes the change now? Are you are you really are you bang into this now? Is have you got any ambitions? What do you want to achieve now? No, I mean, I'll just, I, I'll work with BFBA. I'm not going to go anywhere. Not. I mean, I say, I'm fucking, I'll just fight who they gave me. Just give yeah. me some cunt. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's all. I, I'm not bored with it. I was, like, I was meant to fight David and he's he pulled out. Um, yeah. That's between them. I mean, that's between me. 
Then he gave me an app. I was like, fuck it. I was like, just give me them. I mean, it's fine. As long as you're active. Ah, as long as I'm active. No, I mean, as long, I know the fact that you've been active is merely just fucking getting out there and doing it again mm-hmm. and fighting. Do you um, not have some concern, though, about the hands, though? Do you know what I mean? Like, I know they nah. do heal quick. I've got pins and plates in my right hand. Fucking size of the boys, man. Ah, they're, they're like hammers, they're, they're fucking, bad lads. They're like fucking... <laughs> they're, I mean... they're like hammers, <laughs> my brother. Jesus Christ. Well, I've, I don't know if I can spoil even my left one. <laughs> fucking small no, ones. Ah, uh, why not? Uh, like yeah. A BBC getting scuddy bit. I would not <laughs> like to be fucking hit with one of those, my friend. Uh, not yeah. a chance, no, I mean, my brother. I know for a fact in time I'm going to regret it. No, I mean, my hands are fucked. It's going to be one of the things, but I'm just, I'll fucking deal with it when it comes to it. Me smashing something in the face is well worth the thing. <laughs> <That's, laughs> you just that's remind it. us of a friend. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to say his name on air, but you just remind us of him. Aye. Like, uh, he's, he's just game and he doesn't care what he breaks. Um, but I, it's just I, I, in the fighting nature, it's in the DNA. And I mean, I'll fight anybody, you know what I mean? I was meant to fight 84 kilos, weight people to 88. Mm-hmm. Me, gave me a bit of room, not to play with, you know what I mean? I was after training night, I was 92 kilos. Mm-hmm. That's fucking, that, that's nothing, you know what I mean? I was cutting six kilos in a day. You know what I mean? It's nothing, you know what I mean? I feel good. I'm eating, I'm eating three times a day. I'm, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? I'm not killing myself, mate. So, sort of wait. So, it's, it, I'll just, uh, I'll fight any come. I'll fight every. Just, <laughs> anyway, <I> just, uh, <laughs> any, anyway, anyway, any man. anyway, anyway, over eighty kilos. <laughs> Would if even as I yet obviously with that kind of performance in your debut where you've been back, has uh, any other promotional companies try to approach you? No, they did at all. I'm not bothered with that, mate. You know I mean, that's mm. you're going to get that, but I'm not like fuck that. I'm just I'm not to jump about the place and that. So I'll just mm. stick with BFBA. That's because that's, that's what you would usually find. Ah, because like, you, you got the you get, you got BKB and all that stuff. But to me, I'm no bored about any of that stuff. I was just the B the BFBA shows the new yeah. fucking the fight cards is just crazy. I mean, oh, well, with you know, being a, it was a success the first time. I mean, uh, it, you've got a crowd this time. It's not good. I mean, it's going to be hectic. The only thing is, mate, is I've got some people come to Scotland, right? Mm-hmm. Which you'll still hear the boys fucking shouting for me, but come up <laughs> north, follow, you know what I mean? And I'll you'll be hearing the fucking Scotland boys going mm-hmm. there, they'll go for it. But I, I know, I know, nobody else has came towards me and all that stuff because I'm not interested in that stuff, eh? Mm-hmm. I'm not bothered with jumping places, I've got to meet new people, yeah, and deal with all that stuff. And I, I, it's, I, a, fu- it's a fucking chow on us. Ah, like, oh, this, this, and this, you get fucking grabbed out of the place. No, I don't want that. So I'll just stick mm-hmm. with BFBA where I'm fighting and I'm saying that. Oh, I said to Andrew, I said, I want a fucking tracksuit. <laughs> <So he's> like, <laughs> <laughs> I want a t-shirt. I never got a t-shirt last time. <laughs> so, I went that, that. So the grown are the phenomenal bald. race. They are like, they the are, grown. And I know for a fact, mate, they're going to be, the face that they put in that card there was crazy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? There wasn't one, well, when they want this shit fights, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You go from the small guys to the big fucking monsters. Yeah, the initial here coming up, you've got fucking the, the fight card's going to even get better. You know what I mean? You've got Dan and you've got Simon fighting the show. That there's going to be a fucking mad one. But the heavyweights uh, as well some, fighting. I'm fighting on it. Uh, there's going to be boys in there. Ben Hart. So he's a, he's a mate of mine. He's Ben. Ah, uh, he's a good uh, lad, Ben. I love Ben. Uh, so there's going to be boys in that. And they see the potential. And they, like, they, they actually know it because they, they fight as well. You know what I mean? They're not just promoters there actually they've got their own gym and stuff. So they see where it's all coming from. You're evenly matched as well in a certain extent. You know what I mean? Of course it is because matchmaking in itself, I mean, I've done it for a, a not fully matchmaking but helped in the process. Um, mm. And it, it is for a smaller company. It was it was for a smaller company. Uh, and matchmaking is such a hard process. It is... It because that a lot depends on you, man. Because if you overmatch somebody and somebody gets hurt, it's your responsibility. Do you know what I mean? Aye, exactly. So that's it goes a lot like that, eh? but they see how it's a feeling. It's a credit to the team, really. Aye. And see the thing is, it's not even the fact of being matchmakers and the boys of promotions, it's actually up to the coaches. The mm. coaches are the ones that have got their fighters in their hands. You know what I mean? You can only yeah. promote and say, I've got this guy here, I've got this guy here. Usually matching them, they're not usually agreeing to the fight. It's actually coaches or the fighters, mm-hmm. so it's up to them. They can say no, that's a hard fight for me. They can say no, yeah. So usually just putting words, usually putting names, fight names, tip. Yeah. What that? How um, crucial is your team being here? 
Mate, I'm not lying, mate. This has been a... It's, I've got new guys coming in and all that stuff as well, helping me. Like, it's been so good, eh? It's been amazing. Like, you see, for the gym, I've got a gym that I train in for the, the cardio classes. That's that's just sponsor me as well, doing my meal prep. And Karen, she's a female as well, but she's fucking, she knows her stuff, eh? Yeah. She takes, does everything. So the cardio side, she's done amazing. That She pushes you in. Even the people that train in the gym, in the class, they, they're all there for support as well. And then at the fight gym, they're all there to help as well. Like they're all fighters. We did Shark Tank on a Sunday and they come and help. I mean, they, they know that they push you. They know that they don't push you. They appreciate so you that you're fucking... Like they want you They want you down. That's yeah. what they want. They want down. to break you. They want to break you. That's it. They want to break you. They you want to push you to your, your, your lowest point. They're like, fuck you. You know what I mean? And they're ganging up on you. We done the last time sparring we were doing on the minute, every minute, I had a fresh sparring partner. So it went, we're having heavy guys to the wee fucking skinny fast guys <laughs> you six times you're one what I mean so you get yeah. that every minute 30 seconds and it goes like intense constantly so this 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 fight camp here has been amazing eh? it's been so good eh? I've, I've enjoyed it I mean it's mm-hmm. no as if and then I trained the night my, my son he trains Thai boxing so as he trains on the Tuesday I'll train with Cammy mm-hmm. we'll just work things and all that different stuff in that so it has been the support that I've got has been good for the the fight team and for the gym itself because obviously been, obviously it's got to be it's like you say with every line of work you've got to enjoy your work and obviously sometimes training's grueling sometimes training well let's not bullshit training's right. grueling training where you've got to sacrifice a lot of stuff if you've got to cut the weight sacrifices stuff like that you've actually had a good time in this camp so Aye. a good a good camp, happy fighter after dangerous Aye. fighter in my eyes. It's, but I still got to remember I love my food, eh? Mm-hmm. So me being on meal prep constantly. I, after that, I was meal prep there. That fight car, fight show. So I had three weeks off back into meal prep again, mm-hmm. eating the same fucking same shit. It's not even shit because it's good. I'm eating steak and I'm eating fish. I mean, uh-huh. I'm still I'm still full. But it's like every day you're eating it, you're eating it, you're eating it. So me having to be eating that shit every day, that fucking sends me nuts as well. You made me miss pizzas, Chinese. <laughs> I love us good Chinese and any stuff I've gone out eating stuff. Like that. Um, so that stuff there plays on your mind as well. I've got to eat that stuff as well. See, this is what I tell my fighters. It's more mental because if you're gonna commit yourself, it's it, yeah. It, it, the first thing to tell you to quit is your mind. It's not your Aye. body, it's your mind that your, your mind tells Aye. you. But when you're fully committed to stuff like that, even bang on point where you diet and stuff like Aye. that, it can only help you, man, because it, it just gives you the correct fuel. And that, it, that's it. So that, that's exactly it. Like for boys in the gym, they're now training. Your young boy, I was like, he fights at the weight that he walks through. I was like, mate, come down a bit. I mean, mm-hmm. come, come and get this bit done. Yeah. And you have the bit of it, you day before weighing, you know what I mean? So you can put that back on, you know what I mean? And that's, you can Rehydrate. Enjoy, like, I train, I, I, well, mate, I, the I train hard, right? And then it gives me time that I can have a beer at night. You know what I mean? I, that's just as simple. Like, the boys and even the other boys, the big, was it Ricky? He's has a stale and, <laughs> and that. That's it, you know what I mean? We've done this before, you know what I mean? So you need to have a discipline that, oh, that's, I'm only training and that's me. No, you have to fight, have your diet on plan as well. Mm-hmm. Get out there running, go out there helping things and doing stuff. Oh, it's Commit a massive it. commitment. Massive. It should, see, it's, mate, when I was before me, I missed so much stuff when I was younger. Like when I was fighting, that you miss birthdays, you miss parties, you miss everything else, you miss doing a lot of stuff. This one here, I just had my my missus just had a baby. I think she was like five, three, three weeks, five, I can't remember what it was. She was born in October. So, first October. So, for the October to the fight camp. Yeah, she's had a December, newborn baby. December 11th, so I, I think it was, was it? Aye, so I've had the... So I've still had it. She's had a newborn baby. She was sexing as well, so she couldn't really do much. You know what I mean? So she still... I'm, and she still let me go training. I've still got to train. I've still, I've still got to work and go training while well, she's still got to deal with the baby as well. And I do come back. I to help when I can. Mm-hmm. So she was a massive help there as well. You know what I mean? Me doing that first fight there. Oh, and this one here. So, so and this one here... Home is support exact same. is crucial. Do you know that's what I mean? So, home that, life you need. is you've got. I tell because one of my fighters, I'm not going to mention, but Aye. he's got home troubles. 
and it, it takes the mind off the off the target. Do you know what I mean? Because I... you, you're going back and you're sort of fighting again in a, mm. a, a different aspect. Do you know what I mean? I... In a vocabulary type of way or like it just psyche type of way you're always fighting and you can't get your rest which is crucial as every a day's a fight day that's every day's a struggle I mean I get my boy every set, every couple of days at the weekends and stuff so that there's hard for me to fucking do things as well so that puts yeah. you in the block as well but you've just got to get on with it so it's, it's it's one of the things that she's done that and then I mean this fight can't be gained so I've just came back to back of another one she's a new mum you know what I mean Mm-hmm. Having to deal with a baby that's getting she sleeps great at night, so it's fucking better that way. But obviously, during the day, things it's, oh, it's it's still hard, it's tough. It's still hard. I'm still trained, working on stuff. She's doing who's work with that. And I'm coming here, I came here at night, and my dinner's ready, you know what I mean? And it's my wee boy's dinner's ready, you know what I mean? She's, she's putting a big mass of help in that as well, so I can come out and do this. Oh, I see, so trying to work with you, have it that way behind the great fight as a good woman. Uh, do you know what one, I mean? Yeah, it's not the first person that said that, eh? So. No, nah, no, nah, that's off. that's very true. I mean, and that's in any line of any aspect of work. Yeah. I mean, if you've got ambitions, I mean, because let's let's say a nine to five is not for everybody, um, mm. and you and you want to succeed in a particular field, uh, you've got to yep. have that support, man, and their support is crucial. And you've the the the, the right woman. We'll we'll see you that's through it. that. Do you know what I mean? Aye. So that's it. But it makes it better as well because she's. She's after the she's she was into fitness, so she does she's into all that fitness stuff as well. So she counts her calories, everything else. She's actually better at tracking food and making weight than what I am. <laughs> I mean, I'm sitting there like I get a wee off like, oh okay, well, you can have a wee bagel, play my PT, or you can have this. One bagel's not enough for me, you know what I mean? Bagel friends, I've got bagels with ham, cheese. <laughs> 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 not she, good. Like, oh, on the weight scales and that stuff, weighing her food. So she's actually better at tracking what I am. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it does make it a bit better that she's no the grubber that fucking wants to eat and she's actually got a shit together and eating healthy it makes it better for me to eat healthy too yeah because it, 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 it's like training as long as because it's, it's hard to train by yourself but if you've got your gym mates and your team there along with you you just look to the left you look to the right and you, you see they're in the same struggle now it's same with the diet if you're in this exactly. household and you, your partner's eating healthy it, it rubs ah, off. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Exactly, mate. That's just all. That one, that camp there. I'm a mate, Chris. He was a guy that was holding pads for me. He's seen the videos and all that stuff. I'm holding pads. Mm-hmm. He was actually, we grew up as a as a kid as well. Right. Um, we fought, we fought a gate battle for each other. We uh-huh. fought with his mate. It was like, any young teenagers with my right hand man standing with me or whatever else. He'd always be there. So I brought him into the camera and thought, you know how to fight. You know how mm-hmm. to fight. Street gang violence, let's just go. That's what I was saying. Just street gang violence, that's what we're going for. Yeah. And we just pushed it on for there. And they, they just get back that mentality. So it brought it back to him coming as well to help with the training, which is a little better when you're sitting older, more mature. But you need to try and get this back in that you're going to jump in the ring again, bare knuckle, because bare knuckle is a dangerous sport. Oh, it's a very dangerous sport. Uh, very dangerous. You, you shouldn't, it's all right looking the part and scary and all that stuff. Like, mm-hmm. I don't look scary. It's probably normal. Handsome bastard. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you can't come in here looking all scared and that to jump in and do a bit of knuckle and that. It's no mm. a sport that you should be jumping. You should be thinking about, like, can I do this? Like, oh, of course, you, without uh, a doubt. You've got to have, um, I would say, in bare knuckle, you've got to have some form of combat sports. Like, aye. you've got to, like, and I know some people, like MMA fighters, they they do a mixture of like combat sports, but bare knuckle, you must show you've got a good level of like skill with your hands. Do you know what I mean? I think it's more the, the MMA guys, you'll be better at this game than it will be the boxers. Eh? That'll yeah. be the. I'd say I've, I, I don't, I, I don't know. I'm not too sure because I, I, it just, I, I think it just depends on how the on fight the, on the adjusts. Aye. Aye, how the fight adjusts to the, the it's for the stance, for instance, how we were talking about leg kicks before. Aye. Where you're being an MMA, you're quite square on. In boxing, Aye. you've got the front leg and your you side on. Lead. Do you know what Aye, I mean? That was a hard that that was a hard part for me to try and adapt to, but I think once you're putting pressure on the fighters, that just goes away. Like these amateurs, you can be pro pro boxer, sorry. 
but once you put the pressure on you, you can only take so much of it. You, you get hit with a small fucking fist, no a big glove. You know what I mean? That you're going to see red or whatever colour it's going to be. You're uh-huh. going to smash in the face with a glove. See, yeah, fist, sorry. you have the obviously the advantage in the clinch because you just have worked that and you just have, you just have done that. Uh, you know what I mean? We, so, know how to, we know how to grab you. Can grab exactly. you with that, with that okay, me power, with, man. With one, just the one, <laughs> and do damage with the fucking other because I've witnessed it myself. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so I've always, I've always thought that's a very interesting factor mm-hmm. in bare knuckle because some companies do let you work in the clinch, some some companies don't, you know. What I, I, mean? I didn't. I didn't really know the rules. Like, I didn't really know the rules when I went down there. I was like mm-hmm. to my coach and stuff. Like, let's just go down there and roll it and let's go have fun. That was that was my whole intention. Was just go down and have fun. Go with the whole hand wrap and I was like, fuck that, yeah. Ash. Keep your stuff up here. I'll pay the. I'll pay the money and get my hand wrapped. Get the end of it. This is it. This, we'll go down there and be what this what before. Mm-hmm. But the end of it. So it was, aye, it is how you grab and how it's better that way. Oh, definitely, million percent. Is there any, like, obviously, going to keep it, well, I've, I think we've been on 40, 40 odd minutes. Would you like to thank you, any of your sponsors, any of your team? Uh, like, oh. I know you said you've got a long list, but that's right for them <laughs> all off. Mate, I've got a fucking massive list here, list here, sorry. Let's get them off. I've got Fighter Side Gym, let, let me train the Ash Cammy, my two cornermen that fucking keep me going. Hustle them- Gym. Give them a shout out, like where the location, where you can check them out, like the Facebook, the socials. Oh, mate, they're fucking everywhere. Fighter Side Gym, Facebook, Ash and Cammy, they help me. Hustle Gym has just been a renamed, renamed brand. Mm-hmm. Karen Gunnan, coaching that like she is, she's the person that keeps me on track, keeps me training. She also does my nutrition as well, but she also has meal prep, she's got well, balanced beast and stuff. She's got that. Yeah. So they, 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 that say they, that sort of department deals with that stuff. I've got door to door. Local person does, does my fruit and veg, helps me and my family as well, he, eating healthy. Primrose Path Tattoo Studio, they do my artwork for my uh-huh. tattoos and that stuff. William is a Which fucking... can clearly see. I know, that, no, that's just, that's not even him, mate. It's getting me done, but my back piece and my arms, not, like, it's all getting, he's going to do it all again, but my back piece is William. Fantastic artist, fantastic artist. I've got Chai KM Transport, I've got NG Electrical, I've got KO Bills, you'll get them on Instagram and you've right. got LNP bills, you get them on Instagram. They've got fucking they go to dogs and that's a big dogs if you yeah. Cannabis token, my uncle Chris, and I've got Sean Francesco, I think that's his name. He's in America, they they cryptocurrency. Right. Um if you're involved in it, just add them up on Facebook. Social takeover again, they do the party boost with the, the cameras and stuff. And I've got Spring Solutions, my mate Johnny Ward. But also, my biggest fans is the BFBA for having me part of the promotion. That's uh, that's the biggest shout out to the guys for uh, uh, sorting them out and also yourself having your podcast. Oh, no. D- and, my, and my message as well for dealing with my shit. Never, no, nah, no. Nah, honestly, <laughs> mate, honestly, it's uh, like I say, it's it, it's not about us, it's about the fighters. As long as we can propagate the news or propagate somebody's story or get somebody's I- fighters' attention out there. That's all we're here for. It's not about us. You know what I mean. It was both so, ways, or not? I mean, if you're broadcasting and I'm fucking and I'm and I'm talking to you guys, it helps you guys as well get your followers up as well. And I want both ways. Not I mean, I'm happy to help anybody. I said that to Andrew after my fight, and I said I'm happy to work with you guys as well. So it's good that way to just try and get a good, a good um, what's the fuck I'm looking for? Like a good uh, friendship with them. Yeah, a hundred percent. Like networking and. Yeah, aye, aye, just cross, to what, cross. What, as I said, that's it. Um, this is my first podcast I've done, eh? Is this? Is this your first you podcast? Hi. Do you want to say hi? Hey, my boy. <laughs> hi. Say hiya. Hello, little lad. Hi. Hiya, how are you? Hi. Say hi. Hi. Are you all right? There we go. There right. you go. Dad. <laughs> Good lad. <laughs> Dad. Two seconds. Me and go Good. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Bless him, man. Bless him. Bless him. He's cool. He's, he's the one that trains. He trains Thai box now, so... How old is he? He'll be six in May. Oh, best age to get so, started. It's good, you know uh, what I mean? That's it. Uh, he needs it. Uh, doesn't, look, doesn't listen at home. But, uh, he's all right. He's good that way. Look at the mayor with us. Built up and... I know. Grown up in the gym. Do you know what I mean? So... I know. But, but honestly, it's been... Kyle... Much appreciated for your time. Um, Sai, 
Kempers, who you were talking to down in uh, the last the last fight. And the uh, last I show. know him. He's the guy that gave me every drink it is fucking <laughs> the Viking juice. That was fucking that was good. That was like, what the fuck is that stuff? Yeah. That was good. <laughs> Viking juice. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm not a drinker, but he he sends his wishes and his regards. And perfect so, I'll see but honestly, I'll see you doing there on the twenty six. A million percent. Well, so I'll see you doing there. We can get a catch up. I appreciate your time. Honestly, Perfect, really, really, really enjoy. appreciate it. Thank you and enjoy Take your care, night. Guys. Nice one, mate. See you Cheers, there, man. man. Da-da, mate. You, mate.